was a Sunday in the winter of 2004. A record-breaking crowd was on hand to watch the Football League Championship game. None could have known that this was soon to become the darkest day in history. Butch Justice blazed across the field for the winning touchdown. But before the glory could be felt by the multitudes, the earth began to rumble, growing more violent with each passing moment. Until a 10.3 earthquake ripped the stadium from its foundations. Noxious gases, thick with the stench of radioactive refuse, seeped into the air. Gallons of toxic liquid belched forth from the earth. unfortunate enough to come in contact with the poisonous fumes felt their skin boil, change, mutate. The fortunate souls in the stadium who survived were no longer human beings. They were now mutants, forever transformed into hideous creatures with strength, speed, stamina, and agility far superior to any human. exciting and dangerous sporting competition that the world has ever seen, known to all as the Mutant League. Oh, in your face! Sports, all mutants, all channels, all the time. We break in on our regularly scheduled program to bring you this MLSN update. We're standing by to go live to a press conference called by Bones Justice of the Monsters. He will undoubtedly be responding to Zalgor Prig's challenge. Members of the media have been hasty in their comparison of the laughable last place losers, the monsters, to the world champion slayers. If you wish to see who is truly the better team, let Bones Justice and his band of mangy mutants accept our challenge. I will personally offer a one million dollar prize to the victor. Meet me in the dome, Bones, and may the better team win. We go live now to Sherry Steele, who is standing by!
Bob, I'm here at the Doom Dome, where apparently the monsters have called this press conference to answer the Slayer's challenge. Bones Justice, team captain for the Midway Monsters, is here to make a statement. On behalf of the monsters, I accept the challenge. The monsters will take on the Slayers any time, any place. Watch out, KT. You might get hurt. That's all I have to say. Oh, you'll have more to say, Mr. Bones Justice. After this defeat, you quit the monsters from embarrassment. <laughs> the game is on, boss! Good. Bones will make us a fortune, Zally. He's a natural athlete. Just like his father. Bones' ego has played right into my plans. You pulled his strings uh, like a puppet. I have finally found the way to get justice on my team. See that it happens and spare no expense. Don't worry. Hey, Palooka, how's your ruse? Nice comeback. Zalga! Yes, Mr. Slayer. I'm not wasting my time with these two rookies. They're a joke. Is that so? I'm not kidding! I got better things to do than play with little children! Don't be afraid. Are you quite finished? Yeah! You cretinous fool! Don't you ever make the mistake of thinking you can tell me what to do! I own you! I tell you what to do, how to do it, and when to do it! Understood? Yeah. Mr. Prig. Welcome to this special report from MLSN, where we bring the details of the Mutant League to the company your living room. Today we'll meet Mutant League bad boy KT Slayer in our latest installment of Player Profile. Brought to you by Grip Industries. Some say he's aggressive, some say he is ruthless. Others would say he has no conscience. But nobody ever said KT Slayer wasn't one of the best athletes in the Mutant League. KT joined the Slay City Slayers after the big quake and has played exclusively on Zalgor Briggs' squad ever since. In his 10 years with the Slayers, KT has been a member of eight championship teams and has taken home the league MVP award an unprecedented seven times. With the arrival of some new recruits in the league, KT may, for the first time in his career, have some real competition and just might watch that championship trophy slip away from the Slayers for only the third time in league history. The only thing bigger than his attitude is his endorsement contracts, which are estimated to add a healthy seven-figure income to his already enormous salary. And he's worth every penny! MLSN. All sports. All mutants. All channels. All the time. You heard it here first, folks! The Midway Monsters and the Slay City Slayers will soon battle it out in the Illuminator Challenge! Both teams will compete in five separate sporting events. In grueling gladiator fashion, two will enter the dome, but only one can leave victorious! Can the Bone Man and the Monsters take it all the way? Sherry Steele asked nine-time MVP KT Slayer of the Slay City Slayers that same question. Sherry? Excuse me, KT. Get out of my way, Steele. What do you think of your chances against the Midway Monsters? We'll destroy them. Many people don't think the Slayers have what it takes to stop this role the monsters are on. Anybody says that around me and I'll rip them apart and leave them for the worms. Bones Justice obviously thinks his team has what it takes to be the league champions. Bones Justice, I'm gonna hey. squash that little wussy. When I get my hands on him, I'm gonna pull the greater monster for all. Well, apparently KT Slayer doesn't give the monsters much of a chance. This is Sherry Steele. Whoa, that KT is vicious. Vicious or not. We can do this. If we were in training, sure. But this is the off-season, bro. He's right, Bones. Chill. We're playing and that's it. 
Prig thinks he has us beat, but we fought our way from last place to being tied for first place. We worked hard to the bone for a shot at the title. And if this is our ticket, we're gonna cash in. Are you with me? Monsters! Monsters! What does an all-star college athlete do the year after he graduates? We have that answer for you in this player profile brought to you by Grip Industries. If you can't feel it, it's not Grip. Razor Kid was one of the hottest players on the college circuit. As a receiver for Mutant State's football team, Razor Kid and teammate Bones Justice put on a display of athletic prowess that guaranteed both of them spots in the pros. After graduation, Razor was snatched up by the Slay City Slayers, but in a fortuitous turn of events, rejoined Bones Justice and became one of the shining stars of the Midway Monsters. Razor's life outside of the Mutant League is almost a mirror image of his life in the Dome. This is a Lizoid who lives life in the fast lane. Fast cars, fast living. This guy has been seen in some of the Mutant City's hottest night spots, dancing the night away. Perhaps a shot at a championship will make Razor Kid concentrate more on his work than his post-game activities. But then again, maybe not. MLSN. All sports, all mutants, all channels, all the time. In a matter of moments, the challenge match of the decade between the world champion Slay City Slayers and the underdog Midway Monsters will be underway. This is day one of a week-long competition that consists of a five-sport playoff. The two teams will compete in football, basketball, baseball, off-road racing, and sumo wrestling. To ensure the safety of our audience, some of these games will not be open to the public, but you can see it all right here on MLSN. Check your local listings for times and events. For those of you who have been following the action since the days after the big quake, Zalgor Prig Slayers are no strangers to the championship circle. They have carried home the trophy eight times in the last ten years. Meanwhile, the monsters have had a lock on last place since the earliest days of the Mutant League. This week may be the proof they need to convince the commissioner that they are deserving of a title shot. Then again, maybe not. Pass records aside, both teams are almost dead even in the points this season. It comes down to drive and determination versus experience and cunning. Regardless of the outcome, this promises to be one of the most bone-jarring weeks in sporting history. Let's take a look at the mutants we'll be watching. From the Midway Monsters, Team Captain Bones Justice is one of the most formidable players in the league. And this is only his rookie season. Since signing with the Monsters, he has led his team to victory in nine games and is determined to keep going until he brings home the cup. Though not a particularly large mutant, his drive and determination more than make up for his lack of size. If the name Justice rings a bell for you sports fans, then you probably remember Bones' father, Hall of Famer Butch Justice. A monster alumni himself, Butch was the greatest norm athlete the world has ever known. His dedication, determination, and drive are sorely missed by sports fans around the world. I'm sure he'd be proud to see how his son is shaking up the Mutant League. Continuing with the Monsters lineup, backing Bones is a formidable rookie athlete in his own right, the Razor Kid. Razor was also an all-star member of the Mutant State team. Razor began this season as a member of the Slayers, but after a rocky start, was traded to the Monsters. 
Now reunited with Bones Justice, the kid has become one of the new rising stars of the league. Lightning quick and a lot of heart. Watch out for that tail. The remaining monsters line up. The powerhouse troll twins, Mo and Sputa, who sometimes have a problem keeping their heads on, and the 10-year veteran, Darkstar. He's mean, he's ugly, but darn it, is he ever good! Darkstar, formerly of the Slayers, was traded to the monsters after he tackled his own owner! For the Slayers, Team Captain KT Slayer is one of the most ruthless and deadliest athletes in the league. It's no accident that KT is a seven-time winner of the MVP award and that the Slayers have had eight world championships. KT promises that he will personally educate the Monsters rookies on what it's like to play with the pros. KT is one of the best instructors in that particular school of hard knocks. Jackie LaGrange, KT's cohort and co-hitman, is another mutant to keep an eye on. A nine-year veteran of the league, LaGrange knows what it takes to be a winner. You can bet he's gonna keep that in mind throughout the following week. Without further ado, it's party time in the Doom Dome as the Monsters and the Slayers take the field. Can Bones beat KT Slayer? Has the success of the Monsters been locked? Or the Monsters on their way to a title match? Scrot, KT better succeed. Don't blow a knob, boss. Let the games begin! KT Slayer is back for the kickoff. Bones Justice has elected to return. And there's the kickoff. It's a high one. Look at the hang time on that ball. Bones catches it at the Monsters' five-yard line. Ooh, we felt that hit all the way up here in the booth. It looks like Darkstar wants to grow a mutant garden, and the first thing he planted was KT. Unbelievable. Bones scores a touchdown, and that makes the score Monster 6. Slay is nothing. Hot. KT drops back. He's looking to go long. Look, Runge is open. Ha! Oh, I don't know where the pass is picked off by Bones! Somebody warm up the rejuvenator! KT is determined to skin some bones! Folks, that's what this game is all about! Only one of these teams gets to be the winner! And KT Slayer is earning his nine-time title as league MVP! You all right, bro? What's up with your head? Nothing to write home about. Okay, muters. The Slayers think we're going deep. The fans think we're going deep. So we're going deep. Let's take it to them. 82Z corner. Mo, Sputer, clear the way for Razor. Monsters! Monsters! Nobody intercepts me! I'm gonna pull the grate every one of them! Yeah, 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 yeah! Two, forty-two, hut, hut! Ah! Raise again, signals, he's open, and here comes the pass! He's got it! <sighs> <sighs> Yo, that was illegal! Illegal? It's only illegal if the ref saw it. I didn't hear no whistle, so quit your whining or I'll give you something to whine about. No, no, not my, not my tail! Consider this a warning. Next time you're done. Bones. It looks like it's off to the rejuvenator for Razor. See you later, kid! The big question on everyone's mind, how long will this injury affect the monsters? For the answer, we turn to our resident scientist, Dr. Zhuka. Because of the advanced genetic structure, mutants are incapable of being destroyed, unlike norms. 
even in the most injurious cases, for instance, a full head and torso separation, mutants have the ability to survive. To a norm, the injury may appear painful, but the mutant's accelerated body chemistry triggers a neural reaction in the cerebellum that merely causes a sense of confusion and extreme weariness. However, by placing the injured athlete in a rejuvenation chamber, he will be able to regenerate damaged tissue and organs and return to normal. Normal to a mutant, that is. The rejuvenation process is unique to the mutant world. Upon sealing the mutant inside, the rejuvenation chamber is flooded with a radioactive fluid. These fluids are some of the deadliest toxins known to man. A norm exposed to them could not survive for long. However, a mutant merely experiences a mild discomfort. The mutant is left submerged in the fluids until such time as his injury has healed. This can be as long as a day for simple injuries to as much as six months or more for traumatic cases. To this day, no mutant has ever failed to recover from an injury, no matter how severe. With an injury such as the one Razor Kid has just sustained, I do not foresee a problem with him returning to the field tomorrow. But he will not be participating for the remainder of this game. You heard it, Norms and Mutas! Too bad for fans of the kid! It looks like he'll be spending the evening in the Rejuvenator! What an exciting game it's been! 20 seconds to go! The score is tied! And the monsters have time for one more play! Okay, Darkstar, this one's coming to you. Take no prisoners. Never do. Justice rules. Go, monsters! Hut one! Bones is looking for a receiver! Ah, you're dead meat, Bones! Ah. Uh. Uh. You're dead wrong, KT! Oh, he didn't see that coming! Bones got blindsided by LaGrange! Scrod, drop the ball! Darkstar has the ball and he's sprinting for the goal line! Slow down. Slow down. <laughs> it looks like he's going all the way! He is! Touchdown, Monsters! Yeah! Hey! I can't believe it! We won, darling! We won! Scrod, Scrod, Scrod! The monsters are better than I anticipated. Unbelievable! Bones Justice drops KT like a sack of datas, only to have the ball knocked loose by Jackie LaGrange! Then, in a lucky turn of events, Dogstar runs the ball in for a touchdown! The Monsters win it, 42 to 36! Sherry Steele is on the sidelines with Zalgor Prig! With me now is the owner of the Slayers, Zalgor Prig. Word is you have more rejuvenators brought online for this week's challenge. Does this mean the events are that much more dangerous? Of course. It's what the public yearns for. Yeah! yeah more! Yeah, more. Yeah, we yeah, love this yeah, stuff! Yeah. We love it! But what about the players? They'll heal. There you have it! And that's it for today's contest! Once again, the Monsters take the first event, 42 to 36! Congratulations, fellas! Tomorrow is day two of the Eliminator Challenge, and you can catch all the action right here on MLSN! All sports, all mutants, all the time! Now it's time for a special report on the question everyone is asking. Who is Bones Justice? To help find an answer, we look at where he came from in today's player profile. Brought to you by Grip Industries.
Bones Justice was literally born to play in the Mutant League. At the tender age of 10, he watched his father run wild on the way to what should have been the monster's only championship over Zalgor's Slay City Slayers. By the end of the infamous day, Bones' father had disappeared and young Justice was left to wonder what happened. Ten years later, Bones Justice is the most heralded athlete ever to enter into the Mutant League. As an homage to his father, Bones spurned Zal Gore Prig's record-breaking offer and signed with the last-placed Midway Monsters, pledging to bring decency and fair play back to the league. Alas, the Justice family dream of a championship cup for the Monsters may never come to pass. It has a chassis sculpted of the latest titanium polyalloy. It's fueled by a micronuclear reactor that would satisfy the energy requirements of a small city. It's powered by a 24 gigawatt magna flow disruptor with a single output twin turbine thruster. So when you feel like you're riding on air, you are. Hover Psycho, come on, ride the wind. He's still quite disoriented, but he will heal. He better. The team needs him. Oh man, this rejuvenation stuff sucks. But I can't let the ladies down. KT's gonna pay. You took some powerful shots today, but everything checks out, Bones. I'm glad you stopped by. I found that file you asked for. It was buried deep in our hospital archives. Does it say what happened? It seems your father was admitted shortly after the quake. I knew it. Does it say anything else? He was transferred to a research facility. Research? Does it say where? It says your father was transferred to some place called the Pitta Institute of Research Genetics. Bones. Be careful if you're gonna mess around with this. Careful's my middle name. rejuvenating but I need my tail after all the chicks dig it <laughs> check out the tail bro the chick magnet is back in style my dad's still alive he's out there somewhere I just gotta find him Whoa, he would have contacted you if he was. Face it, Bones, your dad's gone. My dad's alive. Don't you ever say that again, you got me? I'll find him, and when I do, somebody's gonna pay big time. Dad? I don't know what to do, Dad. Something inside keeps telling me to look for you. I know I'm letting the team down, but you mean more to me than a trophy. Please, please be out there somewhere. Razor said I'd probably find you here. I was just thinking. I was worried about you. I'm okay. I got some news about my dad. What was it, Bones? Is he alive? I'm sure of it. Just don't know where he is right now, Sherry. Is there anything I can do? Meet me after the sumo, if you feel like taking a risk. I'll be there. Welcome to another edition of Player Profile, brought to you by Grip Industries. If it doesn't hurt, it isn't Grip. His name isn't Happy McSlam. His name isn't Nice McSlam, or even Polite McSlam. His name is Grim McSlam, and he's our Profile Player of the Day. He lives up to his name on the battlefields of the Mutant League. He's a crusty crustacean with more than a few tricks up his sleeve. Grim is not opposed to cutting corners yeah. on his way to a championship ring. Nothing there is nothing that Grim won't do to have an edge over his opponents, but occasionally it backfires. 
known to have once attempted to genetically enhance his own natural athletic ability, Grimm would pay the ultimate price for trying to fool Mother Nature. You definitely need every advantage you can get when going up against Bones Justice in the sumo pit. He's one tough customer, but to beat Bones, you gotta keep your head on your shoulders. Watch where you're standing, boys. Scrot that bones. He's a juvenile ooze if he gets in my face. It seems, KT, that you have finally found your match in Bones Justice. No way! I'm better than ever! You had better be, you monosyllabic fool. Do not fail me again, do you hear? The monsters must not win this race. I didn't lose those other games. The team lost. But you are the captain. For now. Old Knobhead has been all over you since Bones hit the league. This reeks! Racing on a course we've never seen! Personally, I say it's major hype. We'll have the whole mutant zone to maneuver in, and nobody maneuvers better than a certain styling lizard I know of! Razor's right! Cream those pansies! Prig's gotta be up to something, but the only way to nail him is to catch him in the act. Muters, the race is on. Monsters! Monsters! MLSN. All sports, all mutants, all channels, all the time. Welcome back to the second event in the Eliminator Challenge! The two teams will be trying for a win on a 500 mile no holds barred rally! The competitors are at the line and ready to rumble! If you lose, consider your contract renegotiated at a substantially lower price. Bones can't keep up with me, nobody can. I don't need your threats to win this race. You'd better be right, KT. And they're off! We're into the first turn inside the Doom Dome, and these drivers refuse to yield an inch! It's a wicked battle for possession as the racers approach the first ramp! KT grabs the lead as they head for the mouth of Doom! Your concerns appear unwarranted. The monsters are currently going too slow to make it through the Doom Tunnel. Ah, I don't need his threats to win. I'll show that prig. Come on, baby. Show me what you got. Check it out! They crushed our wheels! This is a major drag, but at least Darkstar is still in one piece.
Are you okay? Hey, what do I look like? A wussy? Come on, we got a race to win. Good job. I'll take it from here. Scrod. He made it through. However, it remains statistically unlikely that they can win. KT Slant is the first driver into the mutant zone! This is one nasty stretch! I'm gonna power break ya! KT, KT. A person's got a dream. Folks, you are witnessing the most amazing race in the history of the Eliminator Challenge! KT Slant is in the lead as the races head for the sewers! You cool? Just down and out. You gotta take the track, Raze. The team's counting on you. Scrod. Bounds is out of the race, and KT can beat Razor. In effect, you have already won. That better be guaranteed. I want Justice Begging to sign with the Slayers. Begging, do you hear? Begging. All right, Katie. I've got the anchor leg. Not anymore. This is my race. It looks like KT Slayer has survived the crash, but there is no word yet on Bones' justice. Bones, are you okay? It's not me I'm worried about. Raze is heading into the toughest part of the course. Do you want to watch it in the truck? Thank you, Sherry. Oh, well, you're welcome, Bones. Come on, Raze. Do it. Hey, KT! Kiss my Whoa. tail! Ah! Oh, it looks like KT is down and out! Razor Kid crosses the finish line and chalks up another victory for the monsters! This is a statistical anomaly. The monster should not have won. <sighs> How many times will the monsters humiliate the Slayers? I must get justice on my side. Let's take another look at that spectacular mid-air collision that took Bone Justice out of the race. Down to the last stretch, Bones and KD were neck and neck. As they cleared the sewers, the two vehicles collided, sending the two drivers in their vehicles hurtling to the ground in a flaming hook of twisted metal. Apparently, the two mutants were in better shape than their trucks. The drivers were fine, the trucks went to the scrap heap. Razor Kid went on to win it for the monsters. That's two straight victories for this team! Tune in tomorrow for some slamming sumo! You'll see it all here on MLSN! MLSN presents Quest for the Cup! This is where we ask the question, who will win it all this year? Who will reap the glory? Will it be Madman, KT, or Upstart Bones Justice? KT Slayer is the defending league MVP, but has he done one too many endorsement ads? Will this be the year that Madman finally lives up to his potential? But what about the incredible rookie Bones Justice? Will Justice rule? You've just had a rough day in the Doom Dome. Mutant-sized headache, or a missing limb.
now it's time to recuperate and rejuvenate because you owe it to yourself and your fans. The Rejuvenator 2000, the fastest cure for today's sporting injuries. From Grip Industries, proud sponsors of the Mutant League. Zalgor! Get that thing out of my... Hello? Excuse me, but will Bones, Justice, and the monsters really take the Slayers in this Eliminator challenge? Anything is possible. However, three events remain. <laughs> Well, perhaps Bones' belief that you were involved in his father's disappearance will give him the drive to squash your team. He should be most careful with what he says. That sounds like a threat. Oh, no, no, no. Friendly advice, that's all. Now, if you'll excuse me. What a sleaze. He's hiding something. He actually squirmed. Indigestion! Probably ate a bad spider! Trust me, I've never seen Zalgor backpedal like that. Thanks, Sherry. I knew I could count on you. We'll meet after the match. Well, we're not still breaking into Grip Industries. I don't have a choice. Bail if you want, I'll understand. Bones, chill! I gotta see if Zalgor had anything to do with my dad's disappearance. Take it easy, Bone Man. We're all on your side. MLSN. All sports, all mutants, all channels, all the time. We're back with day number three of the Eliminator Challenge. Today, the monsters and the slayers will test their skills on the sumo mat. With the monsters already scoring two wins in this best of five series, the slayers are desperate for a victory. And when you get desperate, you get a little rough. Apparently, Bones Justice's strategy is simple. Win! And it's paying off in a big way. His monster underdogs are doing well this week. KD Slayer had better have a few tricks up his sleeve. These rookie monsters are giving him a game he didn't count on. Fuck up, KD! And with the monsters up by two, this sumo match takes on special significance for the Slayers! Just remember to tag out quick. These guys are desperate for a win. They'll try anything. They'll have to catch me first. The kid is in the house. Relax, Bones. What do you think we are, a bunch of whining wussies? <laughs> okay. Mogo's first, then Sputer, Darkstar, me and Razor. Monsters! monsters! And the match begins! Sumo is Mo's specialty! He should be able to handle the Slayer's first wrestler pretty easily! Then again, maybe not! Sumo display in broadcast history! Uh-oh. I got a bad feeling about this, bro. Don't give up, Raze. Never give up. Slam victory here would wrap up the win and prevent the monsters from taking the series in straight victories! Did you slip? 
Scrod. It's tied up. Relax, boss. This puts more pressure on the monsters. They'll choke like a dog on a chicken bone. With the score tied to all, this will be the deciding round. Make them suffer. Too high, Rays! Get down! No! 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 Not the tail! Not the tail! Looks like we're even, except I've got my tail. Let's get down there. I smell a publicity opportunity. It's time for the winner to strut his stuff. K. Monocle in or out? In. Out makes your knobs look too big. Well, there you have it for today's sumo contest. The Slayers have finally made it onto the board with their first victory. But the monsters are still ahead, two to one. We'll see you tomorrow for day number four of the Eliminator Challenge! MLSN presents today's player profile! Perhaps the most underrated part of the squad is the muscle! The monsters have two of the best in Mo and Sputa! They're big, they're gross, and they only have one brain between them. No matter what the sport, these two young behemoths never lose their heads. Except, of course, when they're being ripped right off their shoulders. Ouch! And though they're really pretty stupid, you've got to really want them on your team, because they're nasty. Mo and Sputa, check them out. Mr. Prig, were you ever concerned that the monsters were going to take the series in a clean sweep? Speaking as commissioner... And by far the most successful mutant ever to hold office. My concern was giving the fans the best match for their money. And speaking as their owner? Ooh, aren't you feisty? Oh, no, 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 no. I've never doubted the ability of the Slayers. That's why I own them. Welcome to the latest induction to the Hall of Pain! Earlier this evening, Monster Wrestler Mo lost his head over the mat tactics of the Slayers! Ooh! It hurt so bad! Let's see that one again! MLSN welcomes these two mutants to the Hall of Pain! There you are. <sighs> Bones, man, I'm sorry. I can't help myself. Seriously, bro, I was out of line. Thanks, it's just I don't know what to do. Listen up, bro. You gotta get your mind back on the game. The team needs you. It's not that simple, Ray's. I can't play anymore until I straighten this out. Explain it to the guys for me. What? Bones? Bones, don't do this! I know Prig is involved, I just need to prove it. Stop here. Bones, I'm having second thoughts. What if you get caught? Well, what would you do? After ten years of nothing, I found out my father could still be alive. Probably the same thing, but that's no excuse for you to do it. Thanks for caring, but I gotta do this, Sherry. I'm sorry. 
Don't wait up for me. I'll try to make it back on my own. Bones, won't you please reconsider? Grip this. The subject is in here. Gotta hide. Whew. Your research on mutants is provoking unwanted attention. Science is scrutinized unjustly. Yes, but let's not take any chances. Move the research subjects to a new location. Justice and that neophyte reporter have been poking around, and I don't want to risk exposure. MLSN. All sports, all mutants, all channels, all the time. It's almost game time here at the Doom Dome, and MLSN has just learned that Bones Justice has not shown up for the game. At this moment, Sherry Steele is talking to Monster's owner, Eleanor McWimple. Come in, Sherry! Mrs. McWimple, any word from Bones? Will he return in time for the game? Oh, sweetie, I'm afraid he's too preoccupied. What a shame. Okay, join me for some champagne. I was about to toast the disappearance of Bones Justice and the defeat of the monsters. Thanks, Prigsy, but isn't this premature? Not at all. Without Bones, the monsters can hope to beat my slayers. Two more monster losses and Bones will have to quit the league. It's top of the fifth here at the Doom Dome. KT swears at bat. He's home and end singles his last two times at the plate. Razor Kid is on the mound for the monsters. Razor winds up, and there's the pitch. <laughs> KT ripped that one so hard. The ball went right through Sputa's glove! It didn't come out. He must have caught it. You're out! Looks like the monsters are dropping like flies. Without bones, you muters are a whole lot of nothing. Play ball! Bury these dead beats. Two outs, here's LaGrange looking for his first hit of the game! What a hit! A shot to deep center field! He's going back, 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 back! It's out of here! Wait a minute! He's signaling! He caught it! No way! He's out! For a whole lot of nothing, we play a pretty mean defense. Huh, KT? The Monsters are playing some great defense, but without Bones, the Slayers are still leading to the nothing! Oh, I got in. But now how do I get out? Make it look like an accident. Hey, you! Hold on uh, there! Buster. I'm ordering you! It's Bones Justice! I'll get him! No! Let loose the mutant dogs! <laughs> Come on! Whoa! The perfect cover. I'm out of here. Without Bones Justice, the monsters just couldn't pull it off. They lost this fourth round baseball game and are now tied at two events apiece. Will Bones return before tomorrow's basketball game? Tune in as MLSN brings you the fifth and final event 
of the Eliminator Challenge! but spikies or I'm coming after you for real spikies the official shoe of the mutant league sometimes you just gotta grab the mutant by the knobs and shake until something breaks loose Tell Zalgor Prig Bones Justice is here to see him. Yes, Mr. Justice. You're clear. He's been expecting you. I'll be rooting for you against the Slayers. Thanks. No. Thank you. Open up, Prig. We got business. I was wondering when you would return, Justice. Please, come in. What do you know about my father? Back off, Justice, or that information will temporarily slip my mind. Ah, that's beautiful, isn't it? I believe we found a common ground upon which we may begin our discussion. Of course, if you join the Slayers, bargaining will be so much more pleasant. Never! Oh, too bad for both you and your father. Make your point, Prig! I sense he doesn't have much time left, even if you would find him. Wanna bet? Bet? Bet what? If the monsters beat the Slayers today, you tell me what I want to know about my father. And when the Slayers win... You get what you wanted. Me. The monsters haven't got a prayer. Take it or leave it. Well done. You're mine. <laughs> With both teams signed in the Eliminator Challenge, the return of Bones Justice to the Monsters roster could be the final upset for the Slayers! Scrod, the series is slipping away and so is Bones Justice. I'm telling you, he won't make it through today's game. Zhuka. Yes? Did you move the research subjects? They were transferred this morning. KT, you're boring me. I'm gonna pulverate him! <laughs> you do have a nose for pain. Zhuka! Yes? Delete all the records in the computer. I never want justice to find his father. <laughs> <laughs> must focus. I must focus. Bones, you're back. It's about time. I had some things to deal with. I'm sorry. I know, but let's not dwell on it. Just get out there and stomp some slayers. For you, anything. Welcome to another edition of Player Profile, brought to you by Grip Industries. If it doesn't cause pain, it's not grip. His name says it all! Madman! And he is mad, mad, mad! You can bet that anyone that gets in his way is going to be in for some serious trouble! Serious, painful trouble, that is! 
Having taken an instant dislike to rookie Bones Justice, Madman will go out of his way to bring pain and discomfort to the Bone Man, often taking advantage of the somewhat loose rules of the Mutant League. <laughs> Someday, he may push it too far! MLSN. All sports, all mutants, all channels, all the time. Welcome, sports fans, to MLSN's coverage of the fifth and final event of the Eliminator Challenge! Tonight's basketball matchup promises to be a scorcher with the return of Bones Justice! I know I let you guys down yesterday, but when that buzzer sounds, either the Slayers or the Monsters will be in first place. And if I have anything to say about it, it'll be us. Monsters! Back off, KT. Looking for your daddy, Bone Boy? He's a big jerk. Yeah, huh? Don't I know it. Midway through the second quarter, and we've got a tight one! Come on, Rook, give it up! to win one shot justice come on boys stay with it just sink the shot yeah it hasn't even been close since KT Slayer fouled Bones Justice earlier this quarter. Since then, the Monsters have had a fired up defense and a spectacular offensive display by Bones. Ah. Tenacious defense by Razor causes a turnover. Bones is driving in for an uncontested layup. What's this? KT oh. has just oh. shot his head at Bones. Flagrant foul. That's two shots plus the ball. He was in my way. I was gone for the ball. Oh. Blindsided. Bones, you cool? I just need a minute. You need to focus. How much time is left in the game? <laughs> Enough to lose the lead. I need to sit down. Sorry, Rays. Just give me a minute or two. What? I'm sorry. And another Slayer three-point play! What a comeback! Without Bones, the Monsters cannot stop KT and his Slayers! It's all tied up with just 15 seconds left on the shot clock! Come on, where you going, KT? No, no, not to your right. You're not going to your left, either. Come on, nowhere to go. Ha. KT Slayer drives! Ah! The Slayers have taken the lead for the first oh. time since the second quarter! In your face! Oh. Ah. oh, this is humiliating! We're getting trounced! The Monsters need a basket to tie and three ah. points to win! Come, Come and get it. Here it is. Whoa. What a big boy move! Spewed is open! Ah. <laughs> KT appears determined to single-handedly send each of the monsters to the Rejuvenator! Scrod! And the basket counts! That ties it up with no time left! The monsters can win it with a free throw! Wait a minute! Sputa is injured! Get him to the rejuvenator. Cheap shot, KT, but it's gonna cost you the game. 
You ain't won yet. You've got one shot. Can your mutant take it? No. According to the rules, pick a player off the monster's bench yeah. to shoot a free throw. I pick Bones Justice. No way. He's out too. Not as long as he's in one piece. Bones Justice is back and he'll shoot for all the marbles. Scrod. We're there for you. Just do your best. I play to win. Hey. Yeah. Woo. Bones, yeah. Bones, 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 man. Justice takes the ball to the free throw line. He's got one shot to win the game and the challenge match. Bones, let's take it to the Slayers. It's all or nothing. Focus. This victory is for you, Dad. No way he can make this. Your moolah's safe, boss. Yeah! They did it! The monsters have won! You did it! Bones, we won! <laughs> we won! <laughs> In 25 years of broadcasting, I've never seen anything like it! With a penalty shot after the buzzer, the Monsters take the basketball game 104 to 103. The Monsters win the Eliminator Challenge, three games to two. It looks like Zalgor Brig will have to pony up the cash. Bones, the hospital really appreciates your donation. It's the least we could do for our fans. <laughs> Poor knobhead. I know he hated giving up that money. Not as much as KT. Prig will take it out of his hide. It means a lot to me that you guys stuck in there. Thanks. The bottom line is the monsters are still together, and once again we kick Prig's butt to the curb. But I wish you had more info on your dad. I know Prig was behind it. Don't worry, Prig will get his. I'm more sure of it every day.